Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Jimmy Roberts, again, with Renaissance Appraisal, and I just wanted to talk to, to you all today about some spring cleaning items. Uh, this was an amazing uh, weekend. Uh, I think the temperatures were probably right around 80 degrees on both Saturday and Sunday, maybe even Friday, and I think it's going to be like 80 degrees today, but a little chance of rain, but that's okay. Uh, and I took full advantage of it, I got to tell you. Uh, Saturday, I took the opportunity to clean out my garage, which after accumulating a whole bunch of crap throughout the winter and getting everything all disorganized, man, it just looks so much better, I got to tell you. Uh, and it looks like some of my friends, including my friend Sarita, uh, she's doing the same thing over at her parents' house. And, uh, you know, so clearly this is the time, spring cleaning, spring is definitely a great time to start looking at cleaning things out. Now, what I wanted to talk about today is ironically, uh, both Sarita's activities this weekend as well as mine are associated with cleaning and, and getting ready and opening yourself up for some things to come in the, in the future, right? You kind of got to clear out the past to open up, to clear some space for some new and better things to come into your life. I know that's kind of mystical, but I think it's true, actually. I think a lot of times we hold on to a lot of things that probably aren't serving us. Now, how does that relate to real estate? Really simple. Um, it really comes down to this. Sometimes we hold on to stuff just because we've always held on to it, but it's not really serving us. Um, perfect example. And, and, and that thing grows out of, it, it just grows beyond what we think it is. We don't see it because, you know, we're living in our real estate. We see it every day, so it doesn't affect us, but it does affect everybody around us when they come by and see it. Now, this is particularly important if you are attempting to sell your home. So for instance, probably one of the biggest things that I see on a daily basis, it's overgrown shrubbery. Now, here, let me describe to you what overgrown shrubbery is. Overgrown shrubbery is when you, is that stuff that uh, that may be a boxwood or whatever, that shrub that started as maybe a foot, maybe two feet off the ground, but is now like seven or eight feet and it covers the entire house. It cover, You can't see the house because of the shrubbery. Additionally, if you go up to it, it's so overgrown that uh, if you get beyond the first inch or two, there is no, all you see is thick branches. You don't see any type of, uh, of greenery or anything because, again, it's hard to grow inside when there's no, no sunlight hitting it. Um, I bring this up because, again, if you are attempting to sell your home in, this t in the springtime, which is a great time to do it, I mean, this is probably the best time to do it, you want to make sure that your properties are always looking the absolute best. One way to do that is to cut those hedges. To be quite honest with you, if uh, some had, some of those things can't be, you can't save, save them. You're going to have to remove them. You're going to have to either cut them down to the stump or and replace them all together or just cut them out and be done with it. That way somebody can actually come up and see your house. You can see your house. You actually see what it looks like. You know, it's highlights, some of its uh, its cool points. You can probably even remember back, man, I see my, I've got a gorgeous house. Now I can see, uh, I see where I bought it. Um, I was appraising the house the other day and it was so funny because uh, the people, and this is, this is really common. So if this, if I'm, if I'm talking about you or, or, or this is a situation that you're intimately familiar with, maybe I'm not, you know, you know what I'm saying, uh, then you'll understand this. But as a visitor, I walked up to a home. It was, you know, a nice branch, a nice uh, brick ranch property. I'm going up to the front door. Now, as I'm going up to the front door, there is a path that was kind of cut out on the side uh, in between these two hedges, uh, sets of hedges, that was probably about a foot and a half wide. And it was, you know, and it was neat. It was a neat foot and a half. Yes, it was. The rest of the hedges were all nice and trimmed up. They were probably about six feet off the ground uh, and on both sides. Uh, but again, I had to squeeze through these two hedges to get to the front door. Now, 
the homeowner made it simple. They don't go through the front door, they go through the side door. So, you know, all they do is, well, you know, they clean up the front or they cut that little pathway and they think that that's enough. And most of their friends probably go through the side door as well. But me as a, you know, potential home buyer and a, and appraiser, that wasn't that wasn't very cool with me. I'm going to try to go through the front door because that's where you're supposed to go through. And, you know, now I got to deal with all this, 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 this shrubbery. That, that wasn't a good look. Wasn't a good look. It was a gorgeous home, but it could have been made. It would have been much easier and much more beautiful if those hedger, those those uh, shrubberies were cut back a bit more or even removed. So bringing full circle. And this time of spring, when we're cleaning out all the stuff that are, is holding us back, might want to take a look at your exterior uh, surroundings around your home, okay? It's a simple thing. All it takes is a little elbow grease. And if you don't want to do it yourself, find a teenager. They need work, and they need to learn how to do work. Yeah, <laughs> so there you go. Um, if you have any questions with anything, please uh, give me a call or... Put it in the comments below and uh, happy spring. If anybody's checking out the fireworks tonight, the uh, city of the, excuse me, the Ford fireworks are going on tonight. So it's going to be amazing. Have fun down there and uh, enjoy yourself. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.